Welcome back people, we got another video, this is on the same bike, LO26 version 2, or LO262 Electric same bike, 48 volt uh, battery, 48 volt system volt, the, the battery is 48 volt at 10.4 amp, which I am going to be upgrading at some point the, uh, the hub motor is sealed, which is really good It's that little bit more chance to stop water getting in there we've also upgraded the suspension the pedals the brakes the <laughs> the head stem uh the, yeah the list goes on i've forgotten what else the tires the tubes blah 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 um all of those videos you will find in our playlist of e-bikes and electric scooters but today today is the day we've got these new tires on i'm sorry if there's a bit of wind around um yeah we've got the new tires on and i want to take this on a off-road test and see how we do here today so we're going to start off with a little bit of grass and then we're gonna eventually end up riding on some rubble and rocks and all that kind of st stuff hopefully i've got the camera angles right it's nearly impossible for me to see my screen here today where it's that sunny but anyway let's get into it we're gonna give it a go and of course this bike does have throttle only as well so on grass this seems to do very very well in fact <laughs> yeah it does very well now flint and stones and stuff like this that's the first this is the very first time of me riding on this with these tires and it's pulling along very nice so nice that i need to pull the brakes a little bit okay i'm gonna take the camera up a little bit more i just want to make sure that i have the right camera angle it's so hard for me to see i hope the, the angle is in shot okay so today i am riding around uh wood, wooden dean i think it is yeah wooden dean so there is going to be a bit of wind here and there but don't worry as we're going around the wind will kind of die off a little bit i hope so anyway i've had quite a few different e-bikes and so far this one has beaten the hill test of every e-bike we've ever had on the channel. So congratulations <laughs> to the same bike LO262. <laughs> Performs great. The throttle is, uh, is pretty decent as well. So that does help. Thank you, man. Cheers. So where I'm riding today, is as i said i'm in i'm kind of in is it white hawk wooden dean kind of something like that oh wow there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of animals over that way oh dang that sucks um okay i'm gonna have to we're gonna have to go down we're gonna have to go down into the uh into the dip but that's fine we still get to do some off-roading How many, uh, what, what inch is that? Do you know what? I don't know. I don't, yeah? Um, quite a lot. Yeah? How much did it cost you? It cost me 2,200. Oh, wow. What's your top speed? Well, it cuts out. I haven't let it be restricted. So oh, I haven't, yeah? Yeah, it cuts out. Fair like enough. 16 miles an hour. Yeah, this one was 909 pound. But, uh, well. yeah, it's a folding one, yeah. It's 909 uh, pound, but uh, I've done a lot of upgrades since then. I upgraded the rear, sh rear shock and tires and tubes and... Yeah, I mean, I've upgraded. I've... Best thing I've bought was that seat post, which is on a, which has got a, like a, I don't know if you can see. It's on a spring. All right. Like oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, cool. It, was that expensive, was it? Or? It was about 100 quid. Oh, wow. It's not that, bad. That's not with the saddle, but that's just that. And honestly, it made so much difference. Yeah. First ride out, I was like, really, really. <laughs> because the bike's so heavy. Yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many miles you get, roughly? Um, it, 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what this does, about 40. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Have a good one, man. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. I hope you're not me. <laughs> no, no, it was off to the one side. <laughs> <laughs> he was joking all right so my back brake is a little bit on the squeaky side as you can hear i'm not going to go too too fast down this way oh gosh that brake sucks i don't mind it too much though it's not very good for the videos but I don't mind it too much for when I'm out riding by myself because sometimes there's a lot of cars around when I'm riding them on the road. And when I pull that brake, <laughs> it makes people turn their head and look my way, which is a good thing because obviously it's helping to keep me safe. So. <sighs> All right, I'm not sure quite which way I'm going to go, but we, we're going, we're going one way or another. I'm so glad I'm doing this video with that new rear shock because doing this with the spring one would be very uncomfortable and very, uh, very loud and yeah, it would not be good. <laughs> All right, so we're left up to here. Um, not really sure, not really sure which way to go. Um, I'm gonna head this way, see where this way takes us. Uh, when he said his, does, his cuts off at 60 miles an hour, he had a big grin on his face. I think he was telling me a porky there, if I'm honest. But you know what? <laughs> I, did, I was going to say to him, well, you know, I've done the speed hack as well. And uh, mine goes a lot faster and is great fun. But I didn't want it to say that in case he ended up pulling out some idea and be like, well, I'm a police officer. You're breaking the law. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not actually breaking any law by having a speed hack on when I'm doing what I'm doing right now. So yeah, of course, in the UK, 15.5 is always the, the top limit. But when you're going off road, it's it's a whole different ball game. You know, when you go off road, you can, you can crank that speed up. You are allowed. <clears throat> okay, I have no idea where this path takes me, but let's follow it anyway. So far, it feels really good. I'm gonna stand up at some point when I'm riding, but not just as of yet. Oh, okay. There's someone coming down that way, so we'll wait for them to come up first. Hello. Hello. Hello, fella. Hello. Yeah, but a nice time. Yeah. How's it going, man? You all right? All right. This is a little bit of a steep one, this. Lots of sting nettles around. I'm going to take my time down here. It's extremely steep. Oh, a little bit of skid in there. Okay, the brakes we've established are squeaky as hell, but they work very, very well. Like they work insanely well. So I'm happy with that. We also got our Rock Bros horn. <laughs> oh, don't even ask me about it. Don't ask me. I had to put that on because I took off my front headlight and that's where the horn was at. All right, so I think I'm going to swing. I have went left once before when we went on the same bike. So I'm going to swing this time to the to the right. 
I'm going to stand up, use a bit of throttle. Whoa, this thing is picking up speed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. This is why everyone should have e-bikes. Whoa. This thing is quick. I'm not even joking. I need to sit down. Whoa. <laughs> These tyres are amazing off-road. <clears throat> so of course I've tried a little bit of off-road with the uh, original nylon tyres. But I don't recommend them to be honest because they're just, they're not very good. They're just not very good. The grip isn't very good. Um, yeah, I just, I don't recommend it. Whereas if these tires, these tires are big, heavy duty and bulky and massive. <laughs> so these tires are 2.4 inch wide so they they definitely do have a bit of uh oh, let's go around this way they definitely do help have a bit of grip standing up again It's okay, I'm turning that way, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, thank you. I was gonna go down that way. But uh yeah, I didn't want to get in the way of that dog. So cool, I do miss my dog. I used to love taking my dog on long country, off country roads and different little trails like this my dog used to love it but now it's just me and this electric <laughs> which is still fun it definitely is still fun not as I don't know I'd say not as fun as with my dog but it's still good okay so there's a little path there I can take so we're gonna turn around I can't believe how well these tires are performing off-road, including that suspension. The combination of the two is what makes it such a smooth, comfortable, enjoyable ride. Um, I don't really know how to get down that way, if I'm honest. Um, maybe I can, okay, as it looks like there's a path there I can go through. There we go. Now with the brakes, when they squeak that much, you could always get a bit of rubbing alcohol and uh, rub it over the disc and take the pads out, and clean up the pads and stuff. But the reason why I haven't bothered to do that, oh, there's a bit of wind there. Oh wow, there's a lot of bumps here, a lot of rabbits. Yeah, so the reason why I haven't bothered to do that is one, because as I said, I don't mind it making a bit of noise because it lets cars know that I'm there, but then at the same time, it also, I am gonna be changing out at some point. I'm definitely gonna be changing out these brake pads. I've got some new pads coming. So when I put those new pads in, I'll give the disc a wipe over and we'll see if we can try and get rid of that squeak. But for now, for now, I think we're all right. Core going up a very steep hill here. Took care of it, no problem. That was easy. Just 
just always remember to try and be a bit respectful around dog owners. Um, I can't remember I went this way once before oh gosh oh no okay so this is the way that I went once before and it's very narrow in here and I came out with tons of scratches all over me I was stung to the maximum where it was all overgrown and it's still exactly the same sure this is the path that I took once before it definitely looks like it slow and steady Ooh. yep I'm getting a lot of stings on my ankle right now that pass is probably a little bit too powerful there I'm going to drop it down just a little bit just in case if somebody's walking my way, I don't want to end up riding straight into them. Yeah, this is the path that we took once before. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to attempt to ride up here. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but let's see. There we go. All right, that was definitely the path that we took before. But instead of getting cut up as much as what I did last time, this time I've got about a million stings on my ankle. But we do what we've got to do for the content, I guess. This is always my first trial when I'm going off-road on new e-bikes. It's kind of this area because it's only it's less than 10 mile I think yeah it's less than 10 mile from here for me if I had to get back home so if, uh, if it passes this and then then I move to the next trail As I said, there's still that bit of squeak back there, but it doesn't bother me in the slightest. You get some speed going down here. I had to slow down because there's a blind bend there. I don't know if someone's around the corner. Okay, no, it's clear. God, it's lovely to use the uh, pe pedal assist. I'm surprised when I pedaled up there I was standing up pedaling and it did take me a bit of effort as well if I'm honest so Whew, there we go oh, let's have a quick look how, how long we've been recording 19 minutes to get round there that was pretty pretty quick if I'm honest all right we're gonna ride down to the bottom A little bit of wind here and there, but other than that, it's a pretty much perfect day to be fair. Um, at this point, I'm literally just rolling. But yeah, the tiles that I'm using, the tires are Continental 26 inch times 2.4. And then we got the rear, new rear air shock, which is, um, what was that? That was a DNM 
165 mil over 35 perfect absolutely perfect and I've also got slime inner tubes which normally I'd go for continentals but this time I thought I'd swap it out and go for, go for uh, some slime ones just a little something different for a change rather than uh, always going for the same Contis all right so I think that's going to be it for this one we've done the hill test we've now done some off-road I definitely am going to be doing a lot more off-road I've also got to do a speed test um, I've also got to do a downhill test I've also got to do brake testing to see how quick I am actually able to stop with these new brakes these new brakes are semi hydraulic pull brakes um, but yeah let me show you those real quick oh. All right, so the semi-hydraulic pull brakes, X-Tech. <sighs> Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. As I said, leave your comments below. I will try my best to respond to every comment. This is the same bike, LO26 version two, off-road, successful. We catch these people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out. <laughs>